Everybody. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, been real busy lately, so not able to do as much Jeep work as I'd like, but other things take priority. Anyways, um, this is a new four cylinder engine, so I painted this one Cummins Beige. really fine oh. we have the pistons installed so the crankshaft and the camshaft are installed all new bearings and this time there was enough wear on the chain that I decided to get a new timing gear kit and I got uh, the cloys the exact one I got is right here C3062 timing chain so we're gonna try that one out see how it turns out um, but as you can see here we are with the camshaft sprocket and the crankshaft sprocket and for the ease of video instruction I put little white marks in certain spots here so you see a white mark here here there or there so those all have to do with the timing of, of this particular engine so this is the timing mark on the camshaft. This is the timing mark on the crankshaft. This is about a one o'clock position relative to this gear. And this is a three o'clock position relative to this gear. So you install the chain and the sprockets so that these two point to each other install. And of course, you're gonna have your engine, your, your number one piston at top dead center. So that is necessary. So you put that there. Then you install it like this um, and then to double check your timing you rotate this mark on the camshaft sprocket to about one o'clock so we're gonna put this on here and rotate Is that about lined up right there that's about it right there so after that one's lined up, this one should be pretty close too. So we'll back it up just a little bit. So you see that one's pretty much lined up and this one's pretty much lined up, all right? One o'clock, three o'clock relative to each gear. So after you have those there, you need to count the pins on the chain. So you count here, so I can count by twos since there's two for every uh, chain link here. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And then we got the mark. So we got 20 pins. Now if you time it like that, according to all the manuals, you're gonna be timed. But when you're timing your four cylinder engine, it doesn't hurt to use like a little marker, uh, just like one of these. And you, you can just mark up steel real easy and it makes it really visible for you. And so you put that about one o'clock, this about three o'clock, and then you mark up your, your timing gears so that you can easily tell when your, your marks are in the right positions. Um, if you need a triple check, you can look down inside of, of these areas where your lifters are. And as you rotate the engine, you can see the lobes of the camshaft as they spin you'll probably not be able to see in the video but as you turn it you should be able to see in there and I know you can't but you'll be able to see it um, as you turn it and make sure that on the intake stroke the intake lobe is turning up and on the exhaust stroke the exhaust lobe is turning up as well and you can do that as well just to triple check your timing um, 
hopefully we get this engine built in the next two weeks because um, got other fish to fry. So, but anyways, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat instructional for you. And uh, like and subscribe. <laughs>